Welcome to the Atelier of Tom Lorry. This is a classic Tom Lorry. It's a copy of a Seraglio in the Cincinnati Art Museum where I painted the clients in place of the figures in the painting. It's getting ready to be shipped to Germany. And here's the great room in the 120 year old house. I live in Clifton where I do most of my work. Here's a portrait of me as Parse in Moby Dick. You can see Ahab coming after Moby Dick on the, the last landing. Here is Solomon with the Rose of Sharon, where Irene plays the role of Sharon. And in this painting, Helen, my daughter, is going to be a reclining astronaut in the classic reclining female figure series in history and it's called Sitwell's Women. It was done from life at the Sitwell Coffee House in 2006. At the time I was continually painting small works of Clifton of which many of are sold but a few of them are left at the in Clifton Market window box gallery and this one was recently sold, so I'm making a little video of of it. This the women I took a photograph of them and then placed them in the composition and finished the work at the cafe. It's a, a, a balcony scene right near Clifton Plaza. I was sitting on the in the plaza painting and. I noticed this woman watering her plants, so I I took some photographs and then later worked it into a composition and painted it from life. It's a classic gesso scraped on a board, painted in a, a thin oil paint technique. Everything is very transparent. There's no uh, modeling or overpainting, or if it can be transparent, you want it to be transparent. It was carefully laid out in the studio, the figure, so that it, the limbs didn't get messed up with the uh, wrought iron. I use a program called Poser. And this is in 2006 when Spiral Light was still on the Low Avenue. So this is a 2006 painting and it, it was the beginning of about 10 of these paintings I did of small figures in the landscape. Up to that point, I'd been painting just landscapes empty of people, but I got a program called the Poser. It was a digital mannequin program, and it allowed me to, I would snap a photo of some of possible subject matter, and then I would build them up in Poser. And, and so you can see they're very much mannequins. But it was a wonderful style, and I had fun painting it. And it's a very transparent style. It's transparent oil it's on scraped gesso. And this is the second one I did in 2006. I worked on the street from life when I was working on it, and this is the palette that I used in the paint box I used. It. It's a classic academic row palette with the lights at the bottom and the darks at the top and the colors arranged in uh, the spectrum. So this painting has been sold and uh, making a little bit of a document about it. I uh, will miss her. So thank you for tuning in.